Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Tracy Humphrey. Today's show is going to be filled with lots of laughter because I've got four comics here today joining us. Uh, so no pressure to be funny. <laughs> Up first, please welcome Marga Gomez. But before we talk to Marga, we got a clip of you doing a little bit of your stand-up routine. So we're going to take a look at that. Oh, good. <laughs> I love me. Rush Limbaugh and Newt Gingrich and Carl Rove. What kind of names do these people have? Anyway, so such, they sound more like retired drag queens. And, uh, uh, and they were on Fox News spreading lies about Sotomayor, you know, I mean, borderline racist stuff that they, again, like disassociated themselves from, but claimed as truth. They were saying things like, well, you know, I don't have anything against Sotomayor personally, but a lot of people say that she's not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, did she not graduate with honors from Princeton? Like, is Princeton a party school? Am I missing something here? <laughs> Okay, so I mentioned it jokingly, but do you feel the pressure to be funny? Um, I, I, yeah, when, I, when, I, uh, when I'm not doing my, uh -huh. my act uh, and people ask me, what do you do? I usually say, uh, I'm in retail. Yeah. Yeah. Because as soon as you say I'm a comedy, they're like, okay, tell, give me something. Tell me a joke. Yeah. yeah. And I don't really do, I, 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 I never remember jokes. I mean, uh -huh. and when I, when I do jokes from my act, it's really kind of, you got to be drunk. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I think if somebody like, you know, if the, there was a hobo or something, then I could maybe talk and, uh -huh. and really share my, my life with, with him or her because, you know. Drunks come it could in be all women sexes. hobos yeah. as well, yeah. Of course. Um, so yeah, there, there is there is pressure, but you know, comics are very uh, can be the, the most morose, serious people you ever meet in your life. You know? Wow. Yeah, like like my dad was a comic, uh -huh. and uh, in the neighborhood I grew up in in, in New York, um, people thought he was a vampire. Very, you know, suspicious <laughs> Latino, like superstitious Latino people. And some people actually thought my, yeah, my family were vampires. Well, why was he a vampire? He was only out at night or something? <laughs> yeah, actually, they, they uh, my parents would sleep very late <laughs> and then they wouldn't leave the house. Like they would send me to the corner store to, you know, pick up things like cigarettes, coffee, things that children did for the family back then. <laughs> lotto, you know, lotto numbers. And then my parents would appear outside the house like in sunglasses and makeup at night. You know, very... Weird. Tr yeah, true bloodish. Just very, a little. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so <laughs> my dad was very serious, and I know, like, when I started in comedy and I told people, uh, I'm going to be a comedian, uh, they just thought, no, you'll never make it. You're, like, the most, like, like, we hardly invite you to parties because uh -huh. so <laughs> you're a buzzkill. So I have a question. Your dad's a comic, came from Havana, and you're a comic. Now, that's pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did he give you like any secrets of the trade? Tell you anything to do or not do? Or? <laughs> yeah, he told me not to be a comedian. <laughs> uh, when I started uh, uh, performing, actually, he told his friends that I was in Spain going to medical school. <laughs> uh, but uh, both my parents were entertainers, and uh, eventually, like, they hoped that I would just come to my senses and and, and get a real job. But um, they were more into their own careers. They didn't really kind of care what I uh -huh. was going to do. Um, but they were, you know, they were supportive and all that. Do yeah. you like it? Do you enjoy it? Being a performer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. I mean, it's, um, there's, there's so much stress and, uh, and, and you, and I mean, I've had these great, great breaks in my life, mm -hmm. but you never stay up. You know, it's, wow. it's like, it's like being a gambler. Mm. And, uh, you like the high. That's it, the high highs and low lows, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of us are in therapy. And, uh, and yeah, I think actually... Welcome uh, to my world, I'm not just kidding. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> well that's right, we're, we're all in show business. So I, I remember um, I got to um, work at a place when I started out in San Francisco uh, called the Valencia Rose, and Whoopi Goldberg, before she got super famous, started working out there. And, um, a and uh, one time she came over to me, she saw my act, and she goes, we should workshop sometime. I think that's, I don't do impressions. And uh, so no. I said, yeah, let's do it, cool. And then, I don't know, I think I went home and smoked a bong or something, which I don't do anymore. And I never got around to ca calling her. Is this our chance to let Whoopi know you're now interested? I am totally interested, yeah, yeah. Does, is she up? No, it, I don't wait, know if she's up, but I know where Whoopi can catch you. Oh, I know yes. where you're going to be. Yes. Let people know where you're performing because it's coming up sometime soon. It's a very exciting show. Uh, 
Oh, yes. The picture is, is cute. You see, you see, that's me. I think you look, you look hot and there. And this is Bill Santiago. Mm -hmm. And a huge, they've got a huge poster. Yeah, this looks great on the side of a bus. Rudy Moreno from, from New York. Bill Santiago's been on Conan. It's going to be at Yoshi's uh, San Francisco. Uh, Yoshi's is the premier jazz club in, in the world. And they've got one in Oakland. They've got a new one on the Fillmore Jazz Area in San Francisco. Next Wednesday, September 22nd, comedy. 8 o'clock. Latin comedy fever. It's very disco. we got a DJ. We've We've got this wonderful host, Norman Zelaya. Yeah, we Zelaya. got your website up there, so people can go there for more information. Right? Totally, totally. Wow, well, thank you so much for being with us today, Marga. That's for it. more information about Marga's appearances, you can always go to our website. We just put it up, but it's www.margagomez.com. We'll be back with another comic right after this break.